right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. This is your brother, Muad Tordawam, coming to you again. From another sensified, wicked, sissy-ass, faggot city here in Great Babylon, America, known as El Paso, Texas. A little dingy, wicked city that these doggone El Pasians are doggone so proud of. And today, I'm going to be warning these wicked people about the judgment that has come here on Great Babylon, America, and across this earth, and also to try to wake up the hopefully elect that are scattered across this wicked city here in Great Babylon, America, and also to gladly tell these wicked, pacified, sensitive, weak, devil-worshipping citizens of Great Babylon, America, that their destruction their end is coming real soon. And it's my joy to let them know that soon that family will hit your big fat ass and you're gonna die. But before we get started, I'd like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakal Kadash, double honor to the teachers, elders, and apostles of Great Millstone. Also to you brothers out there that are putting on this truth, faithfully, fearlessly, feeding the sheep. And to you brothers and sisters that are tuning in, Shalom. So let's go into it today. And another great day. Yeah. The great Babylon in America. The most wicked, vile, wicked city here. Known in the whole history of the earth. So, let's go into the book of Proverbs, chapter 20, starting with verse 24. The book of Proverbs. See, because you damn people, you need to wake the hell up. So, we got a lot to cover today. The book of Proverbs, chapter 20, and verse 24. This is the book of Proverbs. Chapter 20 and verse 24. Man's glory are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? The glory of man is not of the Lord. It is not of your way. So here's the deal. If you're a faggot, a sissy, a sodomite, an evildoer, okay, greedy, fat, sinful, broke, rich, spiritual and a sodomite in this wicked kingdom that is a going of the lord the lord has put that spirit into your body so that you can do and exercise these things okay those things that he do not like okay why because the lord has a great judgment that's going to be coming for this wicked kingdom great babylon america so understand this you do not make a decision in your life as to what you're going to do today or what you're going to do tomorrow, or what you're going to do in your so-called future that you people like to plan. So your ways is that of the Lord's. Some of you are going to die this week, okay? Because you boast in yourself, okay? So the Lord put that spirit into you to do what he wants. Let's go into the book of Job 4, 17 to 21. The book of Job. Because what we want to look at here is this, okay? The laws are blinded and they have no chance, okay, to come near Yahweh Shai and Mashiach, okay? And I'm talking about you two thirds out here, okay? You will come back in the, in the kingdom, but for right now, the Lord have you blind. Because why? You choose, okay, to hearken unto wickedness. You choose to follow the unrighteous things of this earth. You choose to be, okay, a simp, a weakling, okay? emasculated, feminine, especially you doggone men of Israel, Yasharala. You're very emasculated. Let's go into the book of Job 4. Okay? Book of Job 4, verse 17, it says, This is the book of Job, chapter 4, starting with verse 17. And it reads, Shall mortal man be more just than God? Shall a man be more pure? Than his maker. Behold, he put no trust in his servants and his angels he charged with folly. Now, if you listen to that, if the Yahweh Shim Yahushai, who the world they can be called God and Jesus, does not put any trust in his servants, okay, who are out on the highway and the byway doing the work, day in, day out, putting up videos, okay, speaking to these doggone wicked demons in their doggone car that doesn't have any doggone gratitude towards the most high that give them the breath in their doggone body, okay? They think that Joe Biden gave them the doggone life they have or, or, or Trump, okay? These people here do not understand that the Lord of the Bible 
okay? A man of war does not appreciate your wickedness. And he's going to set you people right to judgment. That's right. You are going to get judged. Damn wicked demons. So let's take a look at that scripture again. It says, shall mortal man be more just than God? Shall a man be more than his maker? Behold, he put no trust in his servants and angels he charged with folly. So the Lord, Yahweh Shimei Ashai, the Almighty God, does not even charge his angels, okay, with missions, okay, that are of a great, great, great value. But folly, folly means silliness, foolishness. So that tells you that when we're out here preaching, okay, this does not really have any impact on our salvation because this is foolishness to the Most High. I mean, this amuses him, okay? But this is that part of that work that we have to do in order to get to the kingdom. And it says, how much less in them that dwell in house of clay, whose foundation in the dust, which have crushed the Lord They are destroyed from morning to evening. They perish forever without ever regarding it. Not one that makes me say, this is in them, go away. They die even without wisdom. And that is talking about you dog on two thirds. Okay? You two thirds. Okay, and the rest of you doggone people out here, okay, that have been blinded because you're not part of the elect. You're not part of the chosen people of the Lord, Yahweh Shimei Ashai. You can forget about them damn Amalekites over there in, in, in Jerusalem, okay, or in Tel Aviv, Israel. Those are not the real Hebrew Israelites of the Bible, okay? Those are the synagogue of Satan. Those people will fool you. Those are the same doggone people over there that are going to start World War III. That little doggone maggot country over there called Israel. And your sons and your daughters will go and fight, okay? A war that was created by these damn wicked doggone devil, these Edomites, okay? Esau. You feel judgment have not even begun to start yet. So the Lord sees his angel mission as falling. He does not trust his servants. How much more is he gonna trust you, doggone dirt by piece of crap, who put all your trust into these old men, okay? These old wicked women who boast themselves, who exalt themselves above the true prince of powers who will exalt himself against the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven. How much more? He doesn't trust you people. The Lord of the Bible does not love you. You are wicked and you are nothing. You must spit before the Lord of Yahweh Shai, who you call God and Jesus. That's what you are. Let's go further here because that should humble any brother in this truth. It humbled me not that I was ever exalted, but when you understand that when you understand that the Lord called the mission that He gave His angel folly, okay, that tells you exactly the fact that without Yahusha and Mashiach, we don't stand a chance in hell of ever getting the hell out of our great Babylon, America, getting out of this prison system that we call states, okay, and this this deep oppression under these doggone monkey ass cave beasts here, okay, known as the so-called white man, all right. Let's go into the book of Joel, let's go to the book of Psalms 94, because the reason why Yahweh Shimei Ashai, Yahweh Shai Mashiach has raised a man like us, is we challenge the status quo. See, we challenge the status quo. We're not going to agree that two men should be together. We're not going to agree with the LBGTQ. We're not going to agree with Sodomites teaching your damn kids in the school. We will challenge the status quo. Call yourself Americans, land of the home of the brave. How are you brave if you cannot, if you allow faggots to teach your damn kids in school? Huh? You agree with it? Let's go. In the Psalms 94, Psalm verse 16, the book of Psalms. Because the man, the Lord raised up bold men, okay? Men that are warriors. Men that are gonna stand up to this logo and devil, okay? Men that are gonna do his work without fear. So the book of Psalms 94, but let's talk about, let's see what we got here. It's the book of Psalms. It's the book of Psalms 94, 16. The Book of Psalms, chapter 94, 7, verse 16. 
and it reads, Who will raise up for me against the evildoers? My hands is up in the air. Call around Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Bashem Rukal Kadash. Boy, to the worm, I will rise up. And the rest of the brothers from Great Millstone and likewise brothers. And it says, Oh, who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Unless the Lord had been my help, my soul had almost dwelt in silence. So until we came into this truth, we accept everything that was put out in Great Babylon, America, for you to accept the LBGTQ, for you to accept all the wickedness of this doggone petrified, wicked, sensitive, feminine, wicked queendom known as Great Babylon, America. Before we came into this truth, we didn't question authority, but now we do. Because the words of these doggone devils, okay, is nothing but doggone words of death. Words of death that comes from this man. This man is dead. Esau is dead. Okay? The man that you worship is dead. Biden is dead. Trump, dead. All your presidents are dead. Wicked, murderous, doggone, child molesting, rapists. And the Lord of the Bible is going to deal with them harshly. And those that cling on to these so called wicked leaders. You will call yourself damn brave. How brave are you? If you stand by and watch wickedness perpetrate itself and you do absolutely nothing about it, spineless, godless people, you don't deserve a lamb to call your own. I cannot wait until your, your government, the so called white man, start rounding y'all up and putting you on those damn FEMA camps. You think you're free? Sit, sit your fat ass comfortably in these damn houses. Like you're somebody. Let's go into the book of Joel. Because Israelite, the Hebrew Israelite, have been scattered across this earth. And we've been used for a lot of wickedness. On all these wickedness, okay, are all those devious imaginations, okay, that these nations come up with. With these struggle on Edomites and these struggle on pedophiles you see on this struggle on poster. These are nothing but pedophiles and rapists that are going to destroy your doggone way of life right now. Let's go into Joel 3 and verse 2. The book of Joel. This is the book of Joel, chapter 3, starting with verse 2. And it reads, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will, will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. Continuing, and they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for a harlot and sold a girl for wine that they may drink. So little boys are being sold a sex slave for these parasitic faggots, these sodomites, grown ass men are buying little boys for sex and little girls. This is what happened to the children of Israel. Okay? Our kids were sold into slavery for sex because that's the mind of the damn devil. He's doggone Edomite. Okay? This is where you got back breaking from. Do you know that during slavery, that these men, these, these cocker spaniels, these fucking, these, uh, these, these Edomites, the men, they would tie the legs of the man, and they would take time raping a man, a grown ass man. This is how they control the children of Israel, the men especially. Okay? To terrorism, okay? And sodomy. Because this nation is built on sodomy and terrorism. That's why it's called spiritual Sodom and Egypt. And they're not even hiding it anymore. Let's go into the book of Isaiah because 
Jakes, they trust in these so-called demons. They trust in the so-called white man. They trust in the devil. Okay? And they're looking for comfort. The people are looking for when is he coming, he's going to go back up. When is things going to go back to normal? The normal that you have coming to you is going to be death and famine. Key word, death and famine. That is going to be the new normal for you here in Great Babylon, America. Death and famine. Get used to it. There's a new normal. And you deserve it. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, 9 to 13. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, starting with verse 9. And it says that this is a rebellious people. What people is it talking about? The 12 tribes of Israel, the Asherah so-called black Native Americans and Latinos, okay? And it says, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, which say to the seers, see not unto the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceit. So what the wicked children of Israel wants to hear is, everything is gonna be all right, Pass the collection plate, worship the doggone devil, these doggone Edomites on this doggone sign here, okay? He's gonna provide for you, the economy's gonna get better, okay? Jesus is gonna come back and save all of you. Well then, who's he gonna save you from? Who's the bad guy in the Bible? Who's he gonna save you from? So you want us to prophesy to you sweet things, but in reality, the Bible talks about great death and famine coming to this wicked kingdom. Now you people better, better prepare, what is about to hit Great Babylon America? All of you are going to die. Every one of you in these cars are going to die very soon. And it says, get you out of the way. Turn aside out of the path. Because the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. Wherefore, thus said the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall and a swelling out in a high wall whose breaking coming suddenly at an instant. If you trust in Great Babylon America, you are going to die a horrible death. If you trust in your slave master, you trust in these wicked men that are running this struggle, wicked kingdom, you are going to die a horrible death. The Bible doesn't lie. The Lord does not lie. He destroyed the entire earth and said, hey people, do you think your life, you think your life is worth that much? That you would not repent? The Lord does not care about your wicked ways. You, your kids, Grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, it doesn't matter what your position is here in Great Babylon, America. You are going to suffer horrible deaths. But of course, our people won't listen because they trust, okay, in these demons. They trust in the man that's going to offer them the crumbs because that's the mentality. You don't have a king mentality. You want to be at the bottom. You love serving the wicked. You love having these nations look down on you, oppress your weak ass. You love eating chicklets and pork and all the abominable food that the Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach said, love eat. You love it. Because wickedness and perverseness is abundant in this wicked kingdom, Great Babylon, America. You love it. That's why you don't stand up against wickedness. The people are pacified. You're asleep, all of you. You're pacified. You're weak. You wait till the BLM stands up. Or wait till the civil rights movement stands up. Y'all don't stand up for another damn thing. And you walk around so proud. 
the best y'all can do is just stare. Stare, stare, stare. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna let my audience see. Okay? What I see up here. you see what I see, okay? Let you see these passive aggressive people. Let's go into the book of Proverbs 1, 24 to 29. The book of Proverbs 1, 24 to 29. Because what we got going on here is this. We're gonna laugh at Jake when the trouble from Esau comes on Yasharala. We're going to laugh at you. The Lord says he's going to laugh at you. The Lord is going to laugh at you through us. We're going to be the one that's going to be laughing at you. We're going to be the ones that's going to be making videos of you, okay? Running from Esau, mechanical dogs, running from these dog on Sodomite, when your kids have been captured by them, okay? We're going to be laughing at you. We're not going to feel sorry for you. As a matter of fact, a lot of brothers have had the spirit in them lately to bring out, okay, a lot of lessons concerning that we are not to feel sorry for these people. Because these people are sordish and they're wicked. Proverbs 1, 24 to 29. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, starting with verse 24. And it says, because I have called, and ye refuse. I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarded. But ye have set at naught all my counsel, and with none of my reproof. I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh, as desolation and your destruction Come in as a whirlwind when distress and anguish come upon you. The Lord is going to laugh at you. When those famine come on you, when these beasts of the field attack you, when these rapists that they're letting out of prison in these different states start attacking your little girls and your little boys and your wives, the Lord will laugh at you doggone wicked people. He's gonna laugh when the military come and kick your door down. Okay? And Paul tie you and beat you with an inch of your pathetic life. He's gonna laugh when you go into those FEMA camps. He's gonna laugh when the hoodlums go and destroy those grocery stores so that there's no more food for you. When these robotic dogs that Boston Dynamics have built to chase you dug on weak, simple, lost people, the Lord will laugh. No, he's not gonna stick his head out of the clouds and laugh at you. He's gonna use his prophet, his men, his servants. We're gonna laugh at you. Tens and millions of you are going to die in the streets here of Great Babylon, America. And the Lord will laugh at you. You Hebrew Israelites, you so-called blacks, Native Americans, Latinos. Yeah, I'm talking to you. But you don't hack it. More fuel for the fire. And it reads. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. So if you choose the fear of Biden, if you choose the fear of Trump, or choose the fear of any of these doggone men, and not the Lord, the Lord is going to laugh at your calamity. Those are just men. All dusty, crusty men. Yeah, I said it. So what if they have guns and nukes? They have those to destroy themselves with. So there it is. You Hebrew Israelites are there. I don't want to hawk it. Damn people. I don't want to travel around your damn little coffin thinking that your ways that you have is your, is your own going. 
You have a future here. Currently, y'all don't watch the no more news and understand. There's a great divide here in this wicked kingdom. If a house is divided by itself, it shall fall. But America is divided. You get wicked, and then the extra wicked. And somewhere in between the wicked on the left and the wicked on the right, you have the doggone sheep in the middle, and that's us. But either way, this wicked kingdom will die, it will fall. Let's go into the book of Jeremiah, chapter 15, because we've got to look at what these judgments are going to be like, all right? Let's go into the book of Jeremiah. Got to look at these judgments. These judgments are sweet. These judgments are delicious. I love reading these judgments. Do you talk on wicked people? Okay? It is my duty to let you know that you are going to die very soon. A horrible death in Great Babylon, America. You are going to die. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 15, 7, verse 2. And it says, And it shall come to pass, if they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, Thus said the Lord, Such are for death to death, and such are the sword to the sword, and such are for the famine to the famine, and such are the captivity to the captivity. So the Lord is telling you, basically, you're screwed. When those judgments and those pangs of terror hit Great Babylon, America, the judgment coming from the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus, death, famine, pestilence, and the beast of the field that will hunt your children and destroy them out of your household. So says the Lord, and it says, And I will appoint over them four kinds, said the Lord, the sword to slay, and the dogs to tear, and the fowl of the heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. Y'all better think about that. Your pets are going to turn on you one day, and eat you, and kill you because of the lack of bread. The birds of the air that you like to do bird watching are going to be your death here in Great Babylon, America. Fear the Lord! Fear Him! We're going to go into the book of Isaiah, chapter 3, sound verse 12. We need to look at here, yeah, Great Babylon, America. Okay? Jake and Eve have led astray. Eve have the curses on our body. That leads to where yeah, made by four bodies. Okay? Let's put a lot of wicked spirits on here. Isaiah 3, sound verse 12. This is the book of Isaiah. Chapter 3, starting with verse 12. And it says, As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. Oh, my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy parts. So what did it say? The children of the Lord, they are oppressor. Our children, you think about that. Who does bungee jumping? Who does rock climbing? Well, amusement parks. Who's the most immature of all the types on this earth? It's a so-called Edomite. It's the Edomite. That is the oppressor of the tribe of the Hebrew Israelites. You can stick your head out. You get something to say, you pull your car, you come here and you stand up and you get cut like a man. Alright? See, that's the problem with this doggone place, is that feminine doggone spirit that y'all have. 
Everybody's a tough ass when they drive around the car. Stop your car, grab your Bible, and let's come and do this. And it's only through the Bible that we speak. And it says, the Lord stand it up to plead and stand it to judge the people. Verse 16, moreover, the Lord said, because the daughters of Zion are haughty and walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes, talking and mincing as they go and making a tinkling of their feet, therefore the Lord will smite with a scab of the crown of the head the daughters of Zion, and the Lord will discover their secret parts. Ye rare Israelites, so called blacks, Native Americans, and Latinos, they all wonder, particularly the tribe of Judah, the Aquats of Judah, why your head is nappy? It's because that is a curse from the Lord. Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 24 and it says, And it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink, and instead of a girdle or a rent, and instead of a well set here baldness, and instead of a stomacher, a girding of sackcloth, and burning instead of beauty. So those are the curses that are that, that are fall, are beautiful aquats, okay, here in Great Babylon, America, right now, all across this earth. And that was just a punishment, okay? So that the degree of the stench is based on the level of a whore that the aqua is, but you know what? Uh, that's here and there. I'm not gonna go in, I'm not gonna go in detail about that. I think you get the message on that. Um, but as you just saw just now, I was over there and I was talking to two uh, I was talking to a, a young uh, um, Ephraim. And um, him and he was there with his woman. So I had a little brief talk with them and um, basically uh, let them know, you know, who we are, the purpose of what I'm doing out here. And, um, you know, I gave them a website to go to so that they could start seeing these lessons and let them know my schedule that I do come out here every Sunday to come here to school and hear this word that you cannot get it in just one sitting, okay? That there is some investment in it. So we're going to go into the book of Isaiah here because the comfort is going to be removed from Jake, okay? Uh, as Esau makes law that impacts prosperity. You have the IRS is going to invest high level jakes, you get accusations, okay, that will decimate uh, Esau's system, okay? Because we see it right now, what, what, what do they say? They want to have the IRS go around and kick people's door, okay, armed to the T, and prepared to put people to death here in Great Babylon, America. Now, I can tell you that's going to turn into a horrible, a horrible scene. And if, if true to the fact, those fat IRS agents are sending out there, those ex national guard or whatever the hell is, you know, that's, that's desperate for a job, well, the only thing they're going to get is they're going debt, okay? Because the people in Great Babylon, America, is not going to stand for the bully. See, the bullying is good when it's being done, when it's when the, when the oppress, it's a tribe of Israel, a so called blacks, Native Americans, Latinos. But when these Edomites, these low level Edomites, these so called white people are starting to get their oppression, they will grab their doggone sword, known as a gun, and they will fight their government. That is fact. And that's the reason why we know that in the book of 2nd Ezra, okay, chapter 15, we know how that's going to go down, all right? Because they're not going to take the crap from their doggone government. Let's go into the book of Psalms, okay? Let's go into the book of Isaiah. This is the book of Isaiah 3 1 to 5. Because we're going to talk about what's going to take place here in Great Babylon, America, concerning the tribe of Israel. That's concerning the tribe of Israel. Because our people alone listen, okay, until they're in a the situation, okay? Then, all of a sudden now they, they, they want to listen. I talked about the fact that when our people, you know, asking what the hell is going on, we had to tell them, hey, the famine to the famine, the sword to the sword, 
captivity to captivity and death for death because that's exactly what's going to happen to you. One of the one of the four is going to happen to you. This is the book of Isaiah chapter three, seven verse one, and it says, "For behold, the Lord, the Lord of hosts, doth take away from Jerusalem and from Judah the stay and the staff, the whole stay of bread and the whole stay of water, the mighty man, the man of war." The judge, the prophet, and the prudent, and the ancient, the captain of fifty, and the honorable man, and the counselor, and the cunning, and discipline, and the eloquent orator. And I will give children to be their princes, and babes shall rule over them. So the Lord is going to take away the comfort of you damn people here in Great Babylon, America. He's going to take away the comfort of the Hebrew Israelites. You two third that depend on the wicked to provide life for you and substance for you. Your 401k is going to disappear. Okay? Nothing is going to save you from the judgment that's going to be coming from the Lord. Because he's made it very clear that he's going to make your life miserable and very uncomfortable. Because why? When he stretched his arms out using the prophets for you to repent and come back to your true power and your identification, serve your king, the Malach, the Abishai, Mashiach, you choose not to. You're going to be simple. You're going to be pacified and weak. All right? Because there's that sort of my spirit that's permeating, permeating throughout Great Babylon, America. That sort of my feminine spirit is dominating the minds of you people here. Right? Where are the men? There are none. Let's go into the book of Psalms. Because we're going to witness the great trauma that's going to come here to Great Babylon, America. The book of Psalms 91 speaks greatly about the judgment and punishment that's coming to you sinful, wicked people. Let's go into the book of Psalms. This is the book of Psalms 91, starting with verse 1. And it says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. This is your future year. This is the future of Great Babylon, America. Don't plan a long life because the Lord is going to put you to death to nuclear terminal destruction of Great Babylon, America. So, if you're wicked, continue to be wicked. If you're righteous, continue to be righteous because death is coming to this wicked kingdom very, very, very soon. So you will make that decision. And it says, He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. To those of you who are in the house of David, you do not have to worry about what's going to take place on this great whore known as Great Babylon America. Okay? A place that celebrates LBGDQ sodomy, that celebrates wickedness, that celebrates your women being whores, 
that celebrates bestiality, that allows its nation, its citizens to eat abominable food, that celebrates these pagan, wicked, and it says, a thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh to thee. So no matter what destruction comes on this great wicked kingdom, it will not have any impact on the servants of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, the servants of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. But you people will experience great death and destruction here in Great Babylon, America. And it says, only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. So why this devil is chasing you with those robot dogs, putting you in those FEMA camps, stripping you of your livelihood, chasing you, putting you down in this prison system and forcing you to take the mark of the beast, which is a microchip. They already have it set up for you, your kids, your wife, your grandma, your grandpa. It doesn't matter what race or what tribe you're from. This wicked devil is going to have you take this caragma in your hands. And if you do, you're going to die in this. You're going to die in the lake of fire, which is going to burn this wicked kingdom to ashes forever. I am bringing out the best news that y'all have ever heard. I'm telling you the destruction of America, Great Babylon America. This is a beautiful thing. Aren't you tired of working? Aren't you tired of the oppression? And it says, For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy feet against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon, shall thou trample on the feet, because he hath set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. So there's only one way out of this. And that is true. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. That is the only way. And you people who are part of the one third elect, it's going to get out of it. That's us. The rest of you are going to die here a horrible death in Great Babylon, America. Fuel for the fire. As your fat, bulbous body is burned to a crisp. It's going to be beautiful. We will get to witness that. Let's go into Revelations chapter 13 and verse 16. Book of Revelations. Let's talk about, let's talk about the great tribulations and the, the stuff and the choice that you people are going to have to make real soon. You think this is a doggone joke. The book of Revelations, chapter 13 and verse 16. Salakia, the book of Revelations, chapter 13. Starting with verse 15. And it says, And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast shall both speak and cause that as many 
us would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he caused it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and born, to receive a mark in their right hand or their forehead. It's already here, you wicked people. This is going to be your new identification system. This is the mark of the beast. You will make a decision. You will make that decision. No exception to the rule of the wicked that rules this earth. And it says, and that no man might buy or sell, says he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. It goes beyond just 666. It is a system of oppression and destruction that has already been that's already been set up here in Great Babylon, America. But right now, you people are free. You are free to listen to hip hop, drive in your car, celebrate Christmas, celebrate Halloween, look at your 401k in your account, drive to your nice houses, because you're prideful people. But let's see how you respond when this devil put this force you, make you bow down to take this mark in your hand or your forehead. Let's see how brave you people really are. Because you people are not brave, you're weak, and you've been lied to. You've been lied to. They made it very clear. The penalty of taking this is death. Let's go into the book of 2 Thessalonians. The book of 2 Thessalonians. This is the book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter 2, starting with verse 1. And it reads, Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord, Yahushua Yamashiach, and by our gathering together unto him, that he be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter, as from us that the day of Hamashiach is at hand. What is at hand? Starvation and pestilence. And it says, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. We have revealed the man of sin to you. The son of perdition has been revealed. The son of perdition are these people here, these Amalekites. These so-called Jewish people that have deceived the earth with their sorceries and their wickedness. Okay? Esau, the Edomite, that is the son of perdition. And what queen them does this Edomite rule? The queen them of Great Babylon America. Okay? That's right. The son of perdition, so you know it's a so-called white man. Your friend your neighborhood, all right? Not just any white man. So, I don't want you people to get your, he your head up, head or pull your, I don't want you people to get high-minded. You dug on beer drinking, fat ass, little low-level, broke ass Edomites. I don't want you to get high-minded. It's not talking about y'all. Y'all ain't shit. Y'all can just, y'all just can be fuel for the fire. It's talking about these Amalekites right here, these so-called wicked, old pedophile, these wicked rapists, these old wicked doggone sodomite. I sit down in a cave molesting little kids. I'm gonna make you take this crap in your hand, okay? So these are the damn devil right here. I come out here every week and point out to you who the damn devil is. But none of you really want to take, 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 take care of it. You don't like, you don't like corrections. 
You don't like to know that the damn devil, that these people right here, yeah, those are the devil. They're gonna make you do this, all of you. It doesn't matter if you think you're white, which I've never seen a white person before, okay? Let's finish off with verse eight to 10. And it says, and then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. So the Lord has set his prophets out here on the highways and the byways to expose the damn devil that the Bible speaks of. Yeah, that's right. He's a so-called white man. That's the damn devil. The Lord has set the prophets out here to warn you people not to bow down to this so-called wicked man. Who is the devil? The adversary of your house shy. The adversary of your house shy, Hamashiach. The adversary of your house shy, who you're going to be called, Lord and Jesus. Not to bow down to this man and his wicked decrees. You ought to stand your ground, even if God you your miserable, pathetic little lives. Do not take the mark of the beast. And it says, even him who's coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. What lies are being told? You're told that there's this mysterious doggone disease out there. Mysterious monkeypox. Mysterious pestilence that there's no cure for. All you have to do is take the juice that Bill Gates created in some lab. And you people just bow down and just went and took it. Because you're gutless. I said over and over. You can listen to rap, you can sag your trousers, but you're still feminine, wicked, weak spirits in this wicked kingdom at the end of the day. That's right. And it says, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness and them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they may be saved. If you want to hark in the lies, then you will die with the liar. You will die with the devil. You will die with the murderers and the sodomites and the rapists. Here in Great Babylon, America. So call, hello, y'all, Bashem, y'all, Shai, Bashem, or Kakadash. Edified today, okay? I just have to bring it out. These are going miserable people here in Great Babylon, America. Because these people don't understand the lies that this doggone damn devil has told you. In fact, this damn devil is going to have to do this. This is the future of Great Babylon, America. You are going to die. Every single one of you are going to die here in Great Babylon, America. You are going to die. A miserable dead going dead. And that is my job, is to come out here on the highways and the byways of America and let this wicked kingdom know you're going to be destroyed. America will be destroyed. You people are going to die a horrible death in the lake of fire. But before that, you have the judgment of the sword, the famine, the beast, <laughs> and to close out by giving all praise, glory, and honor to you. How about Shem Yahweh Shai, about Shem Rakakadash? Double honor to the teachers, elders, and apostles of Great Millstone, also to you, brothers, who did put down this truth. Faithfully, fearlessly feeding the sheep. And you, brothers and sisters, are tuning in. Shalom. DTA and a Baal Baal. Tonight!